Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to multiply two two-digit numbers. We're going to practice with this equation, 82 times 43. You see that each of these numbers has two digits in them. We're going to do the area model strategy and the partial product strategy. We worked with this one more in the fall, and I'm going to show you this partial product strategy, which is similar, you just don't have that same visual. When we're doing this, we have to keep in mind the expanded form of these numbers, because when you multiply multi-digit numbers, you are essentially multiplying the value of each digit in one factor times the value of each digit in the other factor. Let me say that one more time. The value of each digit in one factor times the value of each digit in the other factor. Let's look at the area model and see how this pans out. So we know that to find the area of a rectangle, you multiply the length times the width. Well, we can use that to also represent our math problem. So I'm going to draw this model here and label it with the length and width of our numbers, essentially. So on the length, we'll label it 82 and use that expanded form labeling 80 and 2. And then on the width, we'll label 40 and 3. Now we're going to find the area of each section by multiplying the length and width of each smaller section. So to find this big one, we're going to do 40, I'm sorry, 80 times 40. And I know that 8 times 4 is 32, so 8 tens times 4 tens is 32 hundredths. Don't forget to check your zeros and make sure that you have enough. To find this bottom section, we do 80 times 3. Well, 8 times 3 is 24, so 8 tens times 3 is 24 tens. Check your zeros. For this top right section, we do 2 times 40, which is 80. Again, check your zeros. And to do the bottom, we do 2 times 3, which is just 6. Now I have all of these sections. I have to add them together. So we'll do 32 hundredths plus 240 plus 80 plus 6. In my ones place, I have 6. In my tens place, I have 12. Carry that one. In my hundreds place, I have 5 hundreds. In my thousands place, 3. So 3,526 is my answer. Now let's take a look at the partial products strategy. So for partial products, we are going to write the numbers vertically stacked like this. And then we're going to start on actually this bottom right number, the three, in the ones place. We're going to multiply that by each digit on the top number. And then we're going to go over to the four in the tens place, this 40, and we're going to multiply that times those top digits as well. So let's take a look at that three first, okay? We're gonna do three times two, which is six, and then three times eight tens, or 80, which is 240, or 24 tens. Then let's go over to the tens place and do 40 times two, which is 80, and then 40 times 80, which is 32 hundredths. Now we've got all these partial products, and again, we add them together. So in my ones place, I have 6. In my tens place, 12. Carry that one. In my hundreds place, 5. And in my thousands place, 3. So there's my answer again, 3,526. So good luck with these strategies this week, and let me know if you guys have any questions as you review your multiplication skills. You got this!